Guys, in this video, we're going to set up a master node for Quan. What we need is 5,000 Quan as collateral um, held in one address. You can check that by going into your inputs from the, your coin control feature. 5,000, one address. Okay, that's the first step. The second step is to deploy a virtual private server. I, I, I get mine from vulture.com. And, um,. If you haven't logged in, go ahead and do so. And at your servers page, you can go ahead and click that addition symbol to deploy a new instance. From here, you can pick any location, it's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Silicon Valley for this example. For your next step, you're gonna pick your server type. Now you must choose Ubuntu. Uh, that's what uh, communicates with Qantas network so 16.4 is chosen because it has long-term support and next step is to pick your server size ten dollars a month server size seems to be the most smooth operating server for this master nodes and cheapest so most efficient let's go ahead and deploy that one there and let it install if you choose the $5 server, it's been known to have some downtime. I've never had an issue with a $10 server, so that's why I choose that one. Here we have a notepad, and we're going to gather some information there. So it's good to have that while that's installing. And also, we're going to need a client um, called Putty. It's an SSH client that allows us to communicate to the server and from there we can connect to the Qantas network so go ahead and open that and see it's still installing uh, we can go ahead and gather some information that we're going to use in in the future so let's go ahead and go into our receive make sure you have an address for your rewards separate from your master node address copy that and you can paste that there in your notepad like I said everything here you kind of use again so it's a good idea to have a notepad up in this process okay that's running so let's go ahead and click cloud instance that will take us into our server information and you can just note that your server can take some time to fully install so just be patient but here we can find some information. Um, our IP address is one. We can copy that. And we can paste that into both our notepad and into our putty. So let's go ahead and go in here and paste that in the first box. It's really the only information you need to get that client running. So let's open that, and it's uh, it's taking some time. So obviously Ubuntu is not fully installed and able to communicate at this point in time. So I'm guessing it should only take a few moments. It's usually pretty fast for you. It might already be done. So. In a second or two, we should see a dialog box pop up. You just go there. It is. Just go ahead and click yes. And as far as your username, it's root, so you can type that in and hit enter. Uh, next, it will ask you for your password, which you can find um, in your Vulture Cloud instance information. So you want to copy that leave it in the blind okay so go ahead and copy that and uh, in your putty it's one right click once you right click one time it pastes it you can't see it but it's there and after one right click hit enter and now you are have Ubuntu running through your SSH client putty so that's great next step is to copy this line of code. Now this line of code will install 
the Qantas network so that way you can run your master node effectively so here you just want to agree so go ahead and say yes after you paste that code remember to hit enter and take you to this dialog and now prepare the system to install Qantas master load so we need to get a bit of information for for the client it's going to ask us for the the private key of our master node so in order to do that we need to go into the wallet and go into the console of the wallet so that you can find in help debug window so let's go back to help all right let's go to help debug window and let's go to console And from here, we're going to type masternode gen key. This will generate our private key for the masternode we are currently setting up. Gen key. Hit enter. And you can see over to the left that it's still taking some more time. So we can paste this into our notepad as we'll use it later. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Paste that into the notepad. Okay. And we need uh, our IP address as well. We already have that. So you can go ahead and take that from the page here. Copy it. Paste it. And okay, our client's asking us for our private key which is this key here I'll copy that before I paste it I'm just gonna go back to notepad and and uh, make sure that it's known that it's a private key so there's no confusion because because the client does not ask you for your gen key so I just want you guys to know it's one in the same so go ahead and paste that there hit enter and uh, that's gonna install it so your Qantas master node is up and running and listening to port 5050 so let's add our port now that we know it for certain 5050 it looks like the only information we need is our outputs we will no longer be using putty we could use it to check on the status but we will use the console here so let's go ahead and type in master node outputs and let's copy the complete string there. All right, from here, let's paste in our notepad. And um, we're almost done. So now we have all the information we need we just have to get it talking to our wallet so from our wallet let's go ahead and go into the master nodes tab and let's create from here an alias just give your master node a name I'm gonna call it master node one and uh, great now for your address it's your IP and port so we have everything in the notepad ready for this process. So let's go ahead and line those up and simply cut and paste. A few more times for your priv key. Go ahead and cut and paste. And for your transaction hash, that will be the first line of first string inside the first quotation right there. That's your that's your hash. So go ahead and copy that and paste that. As far as your output index, that's the second string and the second quotations after the semicolon. It's either a zero or a one, I believe. So go ahead and copy that and paste that. Your rewards address, same thing. 
and as far as percentage I'll type 100 I'm sure you want all your rewards going to your reward address so 100 and okay now we just check on our master node to see if it's running so let's update there it's not on the list that's normal so we're going to unlock our wallet and that's the reason why it's saying that go ahead and type in your, your passphrase if it's already unlocked and um not to worry about that and from here we're going to click start start is the next okay alias masternode one successfully started masternode great so let's update that and you are up and running and that's it